In this video, I will discuss the step-by-step -step process of finding the allowable bending stress for steel beam with a compact section. Okay, let us consider this problem. A W section is used as a beam without lateral support. A36 steel is used with FY equal to 248 megapascal. And the properties of the W section are also given. We are to compute for the allowable bending stress uh, for number one, we have a simple span of 3 meters, and for number two, we have a simple span of 4 meters. So how do we do that? Okay, these are the steps. Step one, check if the given section is a compact section. To do that, we will use this equation. And we have to satisfy both of this equation for us to say that a section is indeed a compact section. So using equation number one, we have the value of the width of the flange which is equal to 292.35 and we have the thickness of the flange the thickness of the flange is 21.72 mm and on the right side of the equation we have um, 170 over the square root of fy which is equal to 248 megapascal simplifying we'll have um, on the left side we have 6.730 and on the right side we have 10.795 since the equation is correct, then we can say that um, the flanges are compact. Because um, this equation right here is used to check whether the flange of the section are compact. And the other equation, this equation, is used naman to, to check whether the web of the section is compact. Okay, using equation 2, um, we have the value of the depth, which is 840.74 mm. And we have the value of the thickness of the web, which is equal to 14.73 mm. And on the right side, we have 1,680 over the square root of Fy, which is um, 248 megapascal. Simplifying both sides, we will have on the left, we have 57.077. And on the right side of the equation, we have 106.680. Since the equation is correct, then we can say that the web is compact. Since both of the two equations are satisfied, both the flanges and the web are compact, therefore, the given section is indeed a compact section. So that's how we answer. Step number one, the answer is the section is indeed a compact section. Step number two, um, determine what case. So we have to determine what case we are dealing with because for compact section, there are three cases. Case number one, when the unbraced length LB does not exceed the value of LC. That is, LB is less than or equal to LC. And the value of the allowable bending stress, FB, is equal to 0.66 FY. For case number two, when the unbraced length LB exceeds LC but still less than um, LU, the value of FB is equal to 0.60 FY. Take note with the difference. For case number 1, FB is 0.66 FY. For case number 2, FB is equal to 0.60 FY. Uh, I think what you need to remember here is that uh, for case number 1, this uh, LB is less than or equal to LC. For case number 2, LB is somewhere in between the value of LC and LU. Okay? And for case number 3 naman, that is when the unbraced length LB exceeds both LC and Okay? But uh, for this video, we'll, uh, we will not discuss case number 3 because uh, case number 3 is further subdivided into two cases. That would be in another video na. Okay, so to further uh, uh, illustrate the, the difference between these cases, okay, let us consider this one. Case number 1, diba, LB is somewhere... Uh, is equal or less than LC. So, that would be on this region. This is case number 1. But, uh, LB can be LB can be equal to LC. But, if LB exceeds the value of LC, case number 2 na hiya. Case number 2, LB, the length of LB is somewhere in between LC and LU. But, LB cannot be equal to LC because that would be on case number 1 na. If LB exceeds the value of LU, that would be case number 3. 
and this region case number three okay so these are the three cases for compact section now let's go back to our problem step number two determine what case so to answer we need first to determine the value of lb and lb is um, based on the problem it is specifically stated there that the beam has no lateral support therefore the value of lb will be equal to the span of the beam which is equal to three meters so the value of lb is 3000 mm we just um, converted the value of from meter to mm next we'll solve for the value of lc and lb i mean lc and lu because we need to compare the value of LB to the value of LC and LU. To solve for LC and LU, we'll need these functions. Okay, LC, LC is the smaller value between the two. And LU naman is the larger value between the two. You cannot say that the value of this one is LC and the value of this one is LU. That's not always the case. Basta ang yakan, the smaller value of uh, between the two is the value of lc so let us compute first for the first function we have 200 multiplied by 292.35 over the square root of 248 the result is 3712.849 mm and on the second function we have 137,900 over 248 megapascal the result will be 8,756.659 mm. Since this one is the val is the smaller value, that would be the value of LC, and this right here is the value of LU, and this one is the value of LB. Now, we'll take the value of LC and LU and compare it to the value of LB. Looking at the values right here, look at the values here we can say that LB is less than LC. Therefore, we're dealing with case number one. We are in case number one. So we answered step number two. The next step will be um, compute for the allowable bending stress. That's the last step. So since we are dealing with case number one, the value of FB is equal to 0.66 FY. Solving, we have 0.66 Fy. Fy is equal to 248 megapascal. Simplifying, we'll get 163.68 megapascal. And that is the value of Fb. That's how you answer for um, number one. That's the answer for number one. For number two, we have um, compute the allowable bending stress if it has a simple span of 4 meters. Still the same process. Step number one, check if the given section is a compact section. But since we are dealing with the same section, the same answer lang ah how the given section is a compact section. Step number two, we are to determine what case again. So to do that, we need first to determine the value of LB. And LB, since the beam has no lateral support, so the unbraced length, the length of LB, will be equal to the span of the beam, which is equal to 4 meters. LB, therefore, is equal to 4,000 mm. And we also need to find for the value of LC and LU using these two functions. So, um, solving the first one, we have 200 multiplied the value of the BF is equal to 292.35 and the value of FY is 248 megapascal. Therefore, we have 3,712.849 mm. And for the second one, we have 137,900 over the square root of 248. And the result is 8,756.659 mm. So comparing the two, we can say that this one is the value of LC and this one is the value of LU. And this right here is LB. Okay. Then we take the value of LC and LU, then we compare it to the value of LB. Now look at the values again. 4,000 and the 3,000 and the 8,000. So we can say LB is somewhere in between LC and LU. 
So, LC, LB, I mean, LB is greater than LC but less than LU. So, therefore, um, number 2 is case number 2. We are dealing with case number 2. So, step number 3, computing for the allowable bending stress. So, since we are dealing with case 2, the value of the allowable bending stress is 0.6 Fy. So, the value, therefore, simplifying is 148.8 megapascal. That's the value of Fb for number 2.